Today we're going to go ahead and make this airplane over the land. The purpose in this project to do is to show space of a bird's eye view looking down at the ground. Way up high a bird's eye view. Also utilizing texture and watercolor resist. So the first thing I asked you to do on your sheet of paper today is draw the land. There are angled lines that can be used as fields. Once you've done that, Use a texture rubbing and lots of mixed colors to make your texture show up on the paper. You can see the texture plate is underneath, while my crayons that have zero wrappers on them will rub on top of the texture to record the texture that's underneath. You'll notice how many times I'm switching colors, mixing colors together so that the textures and the patterns show up nicely. Lastly, once you've got your textures put onto your paper, grab some watercolors and use plenty of water, thin down watercolor, to show the crayon textures underneath. The purpose in this painting is not to cover over, but instead to let the paints shine through, or excuse me, the crayons shine through the paints that I'm applying right now. I think that this technique is kind of cool and it has a nice end result, making sure that you're using plenty of water. Now, while you're finished putting your texture or your um, watercolor on, set that aside and let it dry. While it's drying, then I want you to start working on drawing out an airplane. The idea sheet that you'll have is available for you to look at. You can use the front side where it shows step by step, or if you want to try one of the challenging side of the um, airplane, you can. I like to start out drawing very lightly. I'm looking at the airplane right next to my drawing. I'm not worried about getting it just right. I can change things. I just kind of wanted to get an over idea about how many different details that I could put onto my airplane to make it interesting to look at. These are more challenging. If you don't want to try this one, then by all means don't. There's another example where I just used the step-by-step -step directions and that turned out great too. This is just more of a technique that if you wanted to try um, drawing from the airplanes, this will give you a little bit more variety of um, lines and details that you can apply onto your airplane. Now once I've penciled that all in, um, I just wanted to again just remind you the idea sheet is to help you to draw it but please don't trace it. That's just an idea sheet. By all means make any changes, put different parts of your airplanes together to make it, it, it the way you want it to look. Then I'll take a sharpie and outline over top of my pencil lines now that I have it completed. Once I have my designs in sharpie I'm going to grab some crayons and start to apply a little bit of color onto my airplane. Kind of helps make the airplane look more 3D. I'm trying to use some different values into my crayon and different shading techniques. Now that I have my airplane colored, I'm gonna cut it out. And while I've cut that out, I can start, now that it, my paint is dry, start to apply details onto the ground. If you want to draw a river, houses, roads, animals, maybe even some cars into your project, using oil pastels will allow you to do this. I know in my head I just started having fun thinking about different kinds of details and designs that I could put onto my ground or the land that my airplane is flying over. Remember these items are probably going to be drawn small because you are from the sky looking down so keep those items small. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and take my airplane that I've got cut out and apply all of it together and glue that down. I like having my airplane go off the edge of the paper. It kind of makes it look like, um, you know, just like it just goes on a little bit further than the paper. Okay, thanks everybody, have fun.